Hey, Restoric, you asked about doing simple binary image classification. I'm going to show you a slightly different way using a tool called Nickel, which, full disclosure, uh, I'm a co-founder of. So you can go to click, you can go to Nickel, click Login, then uh, go down and click New Function, and you want to do Image Classification, so you click Image, and then you say Original or Manipulated. This is the two output classes that you mentioned. I'll click Create Function. And so I don't know what kind of manipulation you want to do, but I have two folders here. One is of food. I'm going to take, you know, like 30 of these photos or so and drag them in here. So there's 37 food photos. And then I'm going to label them on the way in. So I'm going to say these are the original photos and click Import. And then I'm going to add more data. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go back to this folder. And so I, I blurred all these photos so you can see like each of these photos um, is like blurry. That was really blurry, but they're not all that blurry. Here, let me show you. Um, so you can see there, there are various degrees of blurry types of food. And so um, if I go back to here and take about 30 of these two, more or less, and drag it in here. And then these I'm going to import as manipulated and click import. And so you can see over here, Nickel is importing both of the samples, original and manipulated. And then once it gets enough data, you can see it's training the first model. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to do some cross validation to basically see how good the model is. And we're going to find out. So actually based on those, what do we have, 71 data points, it's actually 97% accurate. And that's based on cross-validating against, you know, breaking up the data set into like 10 little data sets and then testing against the other nine. Um, so you can see if I look at um, my data set here, um, we labeled this one as original and Nickel guessed that it was original. We labeled this one as manipulated and Nickel guessed that it was manipulated. So now I can go to invoke. And if I go back to my folder of data here, and let's pull something that we didn't do. So this is from the blurred photos one. So if I take this random blurred thing, that's not a photo, it's not a food photo, but it's blurred, click invoke. And sure enough, it guesses manipulated with 99% accurate or 99% confidence, excuse me. And then if I go to the original photos and I scroll down the bottom here and upload something else, there's an original photo, click invoke. And sure enough, it predicts original. So there you go. Then there's even a, a curl request here. So I can create a, um, go to my terminal. And I can take this curl request and type in here, actually, where is that? And I can type and I can paste in the curl request. And sure enough, it comes back and says original with 98% confidence. So there you go. You've got an API you can call right there. You can read the API docs there and how you can use it. And so there you go. And about one or two minutes, you've got a 97% accurate machine learning model that can tell the difference between a blurred photo and a non-blurred photo. And I bet it works for your version of manipulation too. I'd love to hear how it works out for you if you give it a try.